there are highly radioactive and potentially dangerous fission products in used nuclear fuel. Generally, once a year, a portion of the fuel elements in the core must be replaced. The radioactive fission products contained in the fuel must be carefully isolated from the environment. At most nuclear plants, used fuel is temporarily stored underwater near the reactor. Water provides a radiation shield to protect the operators and also serves to cool the fuel. After a cooling period underwater, during which the radioactivity is greatly reduced, used fuel elements are placed in shielded shipping casks. These casks are transported to special storage facilities or in some countries to reprocessing plants. These plants separate and recover uranium and plutonium from used fuel. We know fission products break down and with time become non-radioactive, but high-level waste is highly radioactive for long periods of time. It must be isolated for hundreds of years. Unreprocessed used fuel must be isolated for thousands of years. The long-term storage of high-level waste is one of the most important issues associated with nuclear energy. Several methods for disposal of high-level waste are being evaluated. One is deep underground burial in a place such as this granite formation in Sweden. In France, a commercial glass plant for encapsulating high-level waste has been operating for several years. In the United States, studies are underway for locating and qualifying underground formations. No matter what method of disposal is used, some people believe that before waste had decay to a harmless point, they could escape, either through accident or sabotage and create a hazard by releasing dangerous radioactive materials into the environment. Others believe that the technology of safe nuclear waste disposal is available and not difficult. They say that waste can be combined with glass or ceramic. In this form, waste would be solid, stable, and durable. Additional protection can be provided by placing the glass in welded metal cans. These containers would then be placed in geologically stable areas which have experienced no earthquake activity for millions of years. Finally, they feel that even if a nuclear disposal site were disturbed, waste would not move very far, if at all. <laughs>